The Heartland Institute is a conservative think tank and they're scrambling to discredit a major climate change report that's scheduled to be released by the United Nations by the end of September. And they've written a 1,200 page rebuttal paper. I love how they're writing a rebuttal paper when what they're rebutting isn't even released yet. They're like, no, we know what they're gonna say and it's gonna be wrong and here's what we're gonna say which is gonna counter that. Well, how about you wait to see what it says and then you make your mind up. No, but see, this, that shows you this is all a farce. They don't give a fuck what it says. They're just uh, interested in uh, saying climate change isn't real. It's not happening. Don't believe the science. Don't believe it. So uh, they're going to release their paper at the same time or around the same time that the UN releases their report. And get this, they've budgeted nearly $1.6 million for the release of their paper. Isn't that amazing? Like, what a waste of $1.6 million. But that begs the question, of course, where is their funding coming from? Well, as uh, is usually the case with right-wing think tanks, uh, the funding came from the fossil fuel industry, natural gas industry, uh, oil companies, so on and so forth. And uh, that's not surprising to anybody. Those companies have a vested interest in making sure that people think climate change is false. So they're going to fund things that make people think climate change is false. But what I'm amused by is how little they're trying. So they didn't even bother to get like a couple of people with some shred of respectability left. No, they went right back to the same players that they always go to. And these guys are comical. Look, let me give you one example real quick. A guy by the name of Fred Singer is working on the paper. And get this, he is a former mouthpiece for the tobacco industry. He used to argue that cigarettes don't cause cancer. Come on, man. Come on, you're, you're not trying. Who is going to look at, you know, the names of the authors that wrote this paper and go, oh, Fred Singer has a lot of credibility. Nobody's going to think that. But my absolute favorite fact about this ridiculous group, they did a billboard campaign last year that compared scientists to terrorists. Here, take a look. Oh, come on, man. They say, so it, it says, you know, Ted Kaczynski believed in climate change. Do you? Mm, 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 good point. Who cares what the fuck Ted Kaczynski believed in? Look, I got news for you. I don't care whether Ted Kaczynski believed in climate change, James Holmes, the guy that shot up the movie theater, or if Kim Jong fucking Un uh, believed in climate change doesn't matter. That has no bearing as to whether or not climate change is true or false. Like, is that really the line of reasoning you're going to go with? That is like the most obvious logical fallacy I've ever seen. Hey, did you know James Holmes goes to the bathroom once a day and it turns out mm, he poops. Mm. Have you ever pooped? Oh, I know it. You're just like James Holmes. Somebody arrest this guy. But that's the argument that they're using. You know, sometimes James Holmes, he breathes. Do you breathe? Oh God, I guess you're just like him because he breathes and you breathe. See, he believes in climate change, you believe in climate change. See? No, the reality is 97% of climate scientists say it's real, it's man-made, and we need to do something about it ASAP. 99.8% of the studies uh, done from 1992 to 2012, the huge meta-analysis of those studies, all the, the uh, peer-reviewed studies, 99.8% of them say it's real, it's man-made, we need to change it ASAP, right? That's all you need to know. Those are all the facts that you need to know.